Hey everybody, it's Squeakerwood coming to you on Thursday. Gotta get this off here. I always have a thing that pops up on my on my from my camera that says that I have no sound and that if I want to keep recording or do I want to turn it off and so <clears throat> it's never correct. That's what's crazy. So today is VLCD 4. Uh, this morning I had a 2.6, I think. Let me look real quick. No, 2.1 release. So I am at a total of 7.8 and 3 VLCDs. Woo! Awesome. So happy, happy, happy. Um, I've already started drinking water today. I haven't eaten anything yet. I try to do a little bit of um, intermittent fasting because um, normally I get off at 2 a.m. and so I go back to work at 2 p.m. So what I try to do is I try to not eat for about 12 hours, somewhere in that neighborhood. Sometimes it is more. Sometimes it's more like 16 hours, 14 hours. It just depends on, you know, how, whenever I get hungry. So when I go to work at 2, I leave at 1.30, um, 2, and usually I try to eat something by about 4 to 6 p.m. And then I eat until about midnight. So I know that for most people that's like, oh my gosh, can't eat at midnight, but that's just my schedule, you know. And um, so um, hopefully that, you know, it continues doing well. Um, I've got to get the gallon in today. Yesterday was about three quarters of a gallon, so I'm happy with that. Uh, following the uh, Colin Watson's protocol, which is a little bit different, I've been reading, you know, the book and just trying to uh, follow. I like the idea of the protein being a little, uh, the chicken, the extra lean stuff is a little bit more in weight. It's just to preserve and not lose body, I mean, uh, lean muscle mass. So I do like that. Um, one thing that I've never considered and never really thought about is HCG increasing your testosterone. Um, it does great for men, but I didn't realize it was for women as well. And so I do hormone replacement therapy. It's bioidentical. Um, in a week or two, I have to go, it's in September, I have to go have, I get them the pellets where they put them into your bute. And um, so I'm wondering how that's going to work. I'm going to have blood work done, and then I'm going to go ahead and get the, the pellets within the next, usually within a couple of days after you get your blood work done. And I have had it done, I've been doing it for about six months. So um, I like it. I think it, um, I think it works. There's just some of the side effects that I don't like, you know, like the facial hair thing. It's not huge, but it bothers me. I don't like that, but uh, the doctor that I go to that does pellets says, ah, just, just go have it lasered. And it's like, she said, I have, you know, like here, she said, I have it lasered. And it's like, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the laser. Um, anywho, um, today I, I told you yesterday I'm on call till 6 a.m. I go to work tomorrow. So I have my meals cooked for today. Um, with an exception of a couple of things. So I went grocery shopping last night and got um, my, my, I don't like doing it at the time. And some of you, you know, people that are doing HCG might um, do this or you might not. But what I do is I've always tried to buy about a week or two's worth of food and weigh everything out, the meats, weigh everything out and have it in separate they have those little freezer bags that you don't tie or anything so I, I ball those up and then I put them in a freezer bag so all you have to do when you're ready to eat cook whatever is just pull one out of the freezer out of the bag and then you have your portions already uh, ready for you so you're not 
cutting off a little bit more you're not the the biggest thing is for me is taking out a freezer <laughs> in enough time um, but like the ground turkey and all that it's it's not an issue to have it defrosted pretty pretty quick trying really hard not to use the microwave and if you know if you've read anything about the microwave and all of that a um, long time ago I read that Kevin Trudeau's book he wrote a book on HCG and um, some of it was very interesting especially about the microwave and um, it destroys the nutrients in your food and all of that so I try to cook everything and try not to put anything in the microwave so you know you have to get all obsessed with everything um, been watching some vlogs and um, you know I've also been watching a, uh, other like motivational and getting your mind in the right place and this whole protocol is just so um, uh, you just have to keep your mind in the right area, the right space. Um, so that's what I'm working on. Anyway, I can't think of anything else. I'm just rambling. Besides, I just wanted to give you my stats for today. And um, I will talk to you girls later. Love, love, love ya. Bye.